clearinghouse sweepstakes and you could fill it out and send it in for a chance to win like a million dollars. All right, y'all. So I think I know the reason why the Mandela effect even exists. All right. So <clears throat> if you all haven't watched the video, please go back and watch the video so you know uh, what she's talking about. But basically, this is my theory. OK, now I've tried to record this several times. So if I can't record it, I'm going to just go live. But basically, this is what I think is happening. OK, so. There has been a lot of conversation lately about how time isn't real, how time isn't linear, how it's not measurable, and how it's not tangible. All of these things are true. We have recently shifted into the 5D, the fifth dimension. Time doesn't exist here, okay? This is why the U.S. can say that daylight saving time is going to be infinite. Like, we're doing this forever now, okay? This is why we can be in 2022 and they can be in uh, 2014 in Ethiopia, okay? Because time is not real, okay? A lot of the Mandelas that we are aware of have originated in the 80s and 90s, okay? The monocle on the... Monopoly man. I remember him having it. A lot of us remember that he has a monocle. Google will tell you that it, he's never had one. It's never existed. Um, Shazam versus Kazam. One movie starred Shaq. The other one starred Sinbad. They were both genies. They will try to tell you that only uh, Kazam exists and that Shazam, that's you know Mandela effect. That's fake news. It existed. The reason why some of us remember these things is because each time a new dimension uh, presented itself, we created a new timeline. And some of us, our consciousness ascended as we moved into the 5D. Some of our consciousnesses, <laughs> some of our consciousness did not, okay? So people who still, um, who believe that certain Mandelas didn't happen, they're stuck in the 3D. On their timeline, the Mandelas did not happen yet. Or, or they don't have the same uh, memory of these Mandelas as we do. In the 5D, on that level of consciousness, we can remember and recall the things that have happened in the 4D and in the 3D. So all of us are remembering different things, but those of us who are on the fourth and fifth dimensions, we remember more than those on the 3D because their consciousness is limited, okay? So... That's basically my, my theory. That's what I think is happening. If you have a theory, please let me know in the comments below. But let's talk about this because something is really going on. Something is really going on.